welcome to today's Beaufort County News Headlines. Today is Tuesday, June 18th, which means tomorrow is Juneteenth. Originating from June 19th, it's a federal holiday commemorating the liberation of enslaved African Americans in the United States, also recognized as Freedom Day. It was established as a federal holiday back in June of 2021. The Hill and Head Island Town Council formally adopted the holiday for observance on June 7th, 2022. Local activities celebrating Juneteenth are taking place at the historic Mitchellville Freedom Park at 40 Harriet Tubman Way, and this event is open to the public. There's also a drum circle happening on Friday, June 14th from 5.30 to 7 p.m. Participants of all ages are invited to join a powerful communal, communal drumming experience led by skilled drummers. There's also going to be the 10th annual Juneteenth celebration where you are celebrating where freedom began with a full day of activities, including live music, vendors, food, and other fun activities. There will be performances by Grammy Award winning artist, artist Quiana Parlor and the legendary R&B group, the SOS Band. Two City of Beaufort Public Safety Departments are operating summer programs to introduce youth to law enforcement and firefighting, and perhaps planting the seeds for future careers in those fields. The first one being Future Guardians. The Beaufort Police Department is operating the Future Guardians Initiative, which will run from June 17th through the 22nd. Throughout the week, students will learn about the duties and responsibilities of being officers and community ambassadors and incorporate teamwork principles to explore the profession in an interactive environment. The second is Sparking Embers. The Beaufort slash Port Royal Fire Department is offering the Sparking Embers camp from June 24th through 27th for girls in high school. 11 girls have enrolled in this program. Sparking Embers will cover CPR and first aid, the day-to-day -day operations of the fire department, and what it's like to live at a fire station. The students will also go through the agility test and try out some different training props. Beaver County Solid Waste and Recycling has implemented a new pilot program for electronic recycling. In addition to the quarterly scheduled e-waste events, the pilot program allows residents to drop off e-waste items at a personally convenient scheduled time. You can schedule your drop-off date online at BeaufortCountySC.gov. Residents must schedule an appointment and can bring up to five items of residential e-waste. If you have questions about the Beaufort County Recycling events, please call the Solid Waste and Recycling Office at 843-255-2736 or you can always visit the website. Beaufort County is hosting a public meeting on Thursday, June 27th for the Dr. Martin Luther King Drive Sidewalk Project. The meeting is from 5 p.m. until 7 p.m. at the St. Helena Branch Library at 6355 Jonathan Francis Sr. Road. This is one of the 14 priority locations approved in the 2018 One Cent Sales Tax Referendum. Beaufort County staff will present the proposed design for the five-foot sidewalk on the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Drive from US 21, aka Sea Island Parkway, to Jonathan Francis Sr. Road. The pro proposed design includes a 10-foot boardwalk over the creek. The pathway improves pedestrian and bicyclist safety by providing a separate and safe passageway apart from motorists. The meeting will be conducted as an informal drop-in format. There will be displays that depict the proposed design and representatives from Beaufort County Engineering, J. Bragg Consulting, and Infrastructure Consulting and Engineering will be available to discuss the proposed improvements, answer questions, and listen to feedback. No formal presentation will be made. The proposed design exhibits and other projects information are available on the virtual meeting webpage. You can visit BeaufortCountyPenny.com slash meetings to view information and submit comments by Friday, July 12th. That is all the time we have for headlines today, so thank you for tuning in and have a great rest of your Tuesday, Beaufort County.